Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're going to listen to Endless Love in the Dark and then drink until our hearts stop beating. Just kidding. Today we're going to check out the Y580 system from Lenovo. This was brought in to me to scrap a one terabyte hard drive on it and a crazy piece winged off the side. Like, <laughs> you can almost see it was actually sitting at an angle. I managed to bend it back, but I'm almost surprised this printed circuit board didn't mess up. All the, uh... All the outlets up work over there, no problem. It uh, powers up quickly enough. It's a capable system. It's definitely a very capable system. I'm kind of surprised someone threw it out, but I guess if you're a certain class of individual, once you uh, nick the side of your laptop, uh, it's time to get an Apple, right? Actually, at first, I was sure that I had all the drivers of this unit. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm missing some, but uh, let's go through what's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cores. At 2.3 gigahertz, we got an NVIDIA GeForce GX 660M. And I got her at 8 gigabytes RAM. I'm going to run a Passmark benchmark on this sucker. But first, I want to get all those drivers so I can make sure that I have an accurate benchmark for it. Now, of course, Lenovo has the automatic drive update utility. And I freaking love that thing. I just can't get it to open on this one. No matter what I do, it'll... Uh, It'll look like it's starting, and then it won't go. Just kind of stalls there. But I don't think it's, like, unsupported. I think it's just a particular glitch that I'm having with mine. This is, this is as far as I can get. It looks like the web page has an automatic driver update, so that's good. Um, it's going to find my unit, but it's not going to have anything for me, particularly because this unit is only supposed to be upgraded to Windows 8.1. It's not technically designed to go this high, but Windows 10 is really good with backwards compatibility. And sometimes if we just manually point it at a 8.1 driver, it'll pick it up. All right, so it turns out it's just the SD card reader. Now, before I get too much further into this, I want to open this up and show you... Uh, Let's take a look at how the sucker looks on the inside of your uh, CD drive over here. I've removed that. I'm going to be installing a secondary hard drive. There's uh, the hard drive. There's where you put your RAM. And, of course, that is where you get your uh, Wi-Fi. Close it back up. Clean and easy. This unit came with a battery, but it's pretty much dead, so I'm not going to be using that. Next up, I'll be running some benchmarks. Let's take a look and see how well it runs. Before we get any further into this, I want to go over the original specs for the system. Basically, uh, four gigabytes DDR3 memory and a one terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. Really, 5400 RPM. This thing's a gamer system for home users, and they give it a 5400 RPM drive, released in 2012. They must have been going more for, uh, geez, were, th were they trying to think that people would be more interested in the space? Than the speed? Are they just expecting people to be so silly? Seriously, I, I save so much money, and I will actually use this system. And you can tell by the fact that this thing's busted on the side that I'm really good with money. And even I know that that is the silliest thing. One terabyte, 5400 RPM hard drive in a gamer system. The y -Sys series is the gamer system. This is the consumer electronic gamer system for Lenovo. And the fact that they would put a... 5400 RPM hard drive in there really kind of makes me wonder. Anyways, pass mark, performance test. Uh, let's run a bunch mark, see how she goes. All right, here we go. The first video test NVIDIA GeForce G GTX 660. Uh, about 42 frames per second. You can see at the top left. Not bad, those planes are flying pretty quick. Next up, we get the flying trees. I have new i5s that don't do this well.
Ladies and gentlemen, holy crud, 2,968. That is so capable. Man, in uh, some of the production areas that I'm working in, the stuff that we use don't even get 1,000. Of course, I have an SSD in there, so the disc mark is definitely higher than uh, the uh, disc mark I was telling you about that this thing originally got. So, man, I got to say, for a seven-year-old computer, this kind of explains why people don't go out and buy new computers all the time why buy new when old is uh, is fine someone was throwing this out someone pretty much, someone gave this to me just to uh dispose of it but man who would pass up having something like this probably someone with a lot more money than i have all right so grand theft auto 5 works really nicely gotta say got this bar and i haven't seen any hiccups any uh whoop any issues this thing plays the game better than my uh, xbox 360 does oh man come on just let me drive around and have some fun will you all in all a good system i definitely recommend it for anyone that uh wants to get to a used good system instead of a, a new possibly slower system that's it for me, folks. Now from Nest Tech, please like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, and uh, have a good one.